Hello, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube. Well, I did it again. There was another gun show, and I... well, yeah. Anyways, this here is a Czech Mauser VZ-24. So, I never had a Czech Mauser, and I'd always been just keeping my eyes open. I was kind of maybe on a mission for an Arasaka. I saw one there, a last, a last ditch rifle, and the uh, Chrysanthemum was intact, but I just don't know enough about the Arasaka rifles to know if uh, it would have been decent to shoot. I would prefer one that has the adjustable sights on it, not just a fixed little peep sight. But anyways, moving on. I only paid a hundred bucks for this, and that's one of the reasons that I bought it. Where do you typically pay a hundred dollars for a high-powered rifle? I mean, yeah. So not not a bad deal. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the Czech Mausers, so I'm going to have to uh, do a little research to figure out when it was made. I don't know if anybody can tell by the... Uh, prefix on the serial number or not, but if anybody does know, then I'd be happy to know. Bore is a little dirty, but the lines and grooves are pretty, pretty strong and pronounced. So I'm going to get in there and try to get her cleaned out as good as I can. A little bit of surface rust here and there. Now, it doesn't look like it's, this has the, uh, I don't know if there was a front sight that had ears on this that protected the blade sight or not. I've seen some pictures of the VZ-24 Mausers that did, but for right now, this will work nicely. It'll be a nice little addition to the collection, and I guess now I'm going to see if I can't find, I'm sure original stuff is going to be expensive as far as like a scope goes. But the little research that I have done, uh, those are pretty expensive. And they're the same style that the Russians use, the fixed power scopes. Not necessarily saying they're Russian made, but the same style. So these areas on the receiver uh, were milled off for mounts. So I'll try to find some mounts maybe. I found some reproductive <laughs> reproduction mounts on... Uh, Numerich e-gun parts and they're hundred and sixty five dollars or whatever and they don't even have any holes drilled in them for mounting or no mounting hardware included so we'll see what happens okay it's been a very long time and most of the time was spent working on getting this cleaned up a few rust spots here and there surface rust no real pitting or anything but uh, the bore cleaned up pretty good. It's still a little dark, but I think it'll be a little shinier than it was before, maybe. And I'm still trying to figure out information on the uh, on this Mauser and its configuration. Um, still having a problem finding anywhere where I uh, can find out what the uh, serial number dates it to. But uh, it's got a pretty nice trigger on it. Cock on open. Don't really know anything about them and looking to learn more so if anybody's got any more information go ahead post it PM me uh, something like that I'll be anxious to get out and shoot it and see how it shoots I've got a I got some 8mm Mauser bullets just hanging out a 
looks like it should be pretty good, I'm hoping. And the front sight piece, there used to be one on here, but it's just a, a piece of metal that goes over it, and there's a screw that holds it on there, I guess. So, And I saw those on eBay and Gun Broker and stuff, so I could pick that up pretty cheap, I think. So until next time, Marshall Zhukov signing out.